Hello guys, it's Rich32G again, and I'm bringing you some next car game pre-alpha today. Now, this game is from Bugbear Entertainment, who are the creators of the Flat Out series. And this game was born out of uh, a failed Kickstarter for it. I really don't know how it failed, to be honest, because it looks brilliant, and from a little go I've just had, it plays brilliant as well. But basically, it's all about the physics and the damage modelling in this game. And I'm not talking physics as in Assetto Corsa type physics. I'm talking just, you know, the crash physics and things like that. Um, it looks really nice too. Uh, and what you can do, if you go onto their website at nextcargame.com, you can pledge to it at the minute, all the way from $25, which will get you a downloadable version of the game, all the way up to a thousand dollars which gets you loads of exclusive stuff including designing uh, your own paint job um, and things like that and get listed in the credits and things like that so in this pre-alpha sort of demo you get two cars you get I mean I don't, I don't even know what kind of car that is just as American and then European here um, and you also get the choice of doing a demolition derby type thing uh, a race on gravel and a race on tarmac I'm going to show you all three different uh, types you can also uh, change uh, some parts on the car so if I just get rid of this you can change uh, tires so I can put some tarmac tires on for the tarmac uh, I haven't actually tried with this car so I might have a go at this first yeah you can go uh, tarmac tires and a 220 horsepower engine in that. So, without further ado, as soon as I put the tarmac stuff on, I shall take it to a tarmac race. Now, I am using my G27 as standard, uh, manual shifting with my paddles, uh, traction control, anti spin, and ABS off um, because I don't have an Xbox controller or anything like that. Um, I've, I've, having used my wheel, I'm not too worried, and I'll probably continue using my wheel. But um, plenty of people use a pad with this, um, and it's absolutely fine for that. This isn't like a sim or anything like that, but since I've got a wheel, I figured I'd use it, you know? And it's actually alright for what it is, you know? It, I wasn't expecting an iRacing, a set of course, type experience with the uh, handling, but how how it comes through the wheel, it's certainly adequate, and it's it's fun. That's That's the main thing, it's fun. Um, let me just start this up. Oh, where's my view button? There. And what I've done with my wheel is the rotation was off, so I've put it to 280 degrees in the Logitech profiler, and it feels good now. Oh, Bosh. Yeah, you can see what kind of game it is already. <laughs> but everything, pretty much, is subject to this brilliant um, graphics slash physics engine that they've got going on here. So, the tyre barriers, the cars, the pillars that hold up the bridges, all sorts. The concrete barriers at the side. Yeah, so I doubt I'm going to be winning this race, but you can see how bent out of shape these cars are. Tyres everywhere. So, false feedback, I don't feel all the hits, but you can feel like understeer and oversteer. Um, there's, there's feeling in the wheel, but at pre-alpha I wasn't expecting too much actually. I'm surprised how easy it was to use my wheel actually. I plugged it in, went into the options and it recognised I had a G27. I just changed my shifting buttons to my paddles and that was it really. You can see brilliant demonstration of the tyres there. I'm gonna ram this dude.
as far as I'm, well, I mean, I've got everything bumped up to the max here um, on a GTX 660. It's running really well. Um, I did try it on my triple screens and it just stretched the image. There's no sort of native triple support. Um, I might put something on the forums to see if that's going to be a thing in the future. Um, but, you know, again, it's a fun game. I'm playing it single screen right now and no issues. It's just <laughs> for the lols sort of thing. And it performs fine, you know? Actually, considering how much is going on, I'm really surprised how well it performs. Oh, something just flattened me front end a bit there. And there's the time at race, guys. But yeah, it's performing really well. And there are other um sort of alpha titles which could sort of take a note out of next car games book really I don't even know if I just said that right but um, you know this is a brilliant sort of uh, advert if you like for it um, Just be, it's just really good so here we go uh, race on gravel 24 cars same difficulties and such as before we'll start that up I really can't wait for full re release. Um, it should be sometime soon because it does say early 2014 or spring 2014. Uh, it says early spring 2014. I've got the website open now actually. And so sometime soon it should be out. Can't see anything. That was one of those little poppy things on the G27. Oh. Cars flipping everywhere. Crap. getting them tyres. It definitely distinctly handles differently as well um, between oh, between tarmac and gravel. Um, I've got to say I'm generally happy with the sounds as well sound pretty good, you know. Bit of a tank slapper there. I'm I don't know why, I'm just surprised it's such a good experience at the wheel. Um it's not that I expected it to be bad. It just you know the feedback is is good, it really is. Jesus, that car was going a bit mad. I mean, sure, wow, pancaked car. It's not, you know, like I say, it's not an Assetto Corsa type thing, but, you know, for sort of an arcade title, it, it's brilliant. Oh, crap. That hurt. Bit of handbrake there. It's quite nice as well, the rear steps out quite nicely. This seems to uh, be rather tail happy, this car. Wall, 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 car, car. Great fun. <laughs> 
That really is fun. And there's not enough games like this. There really isn't. That it just put a smile on your face because I'm forgetting that I'm supposed to be speaking and making a video right now. I'm just driving it and big grin and just enjoying it, you know. So let's just finish up with a destruction derby. Like I say, just hop over to nextcargame.com uh, and it's still open for pledges there. Um, and honestly, if you, if, you, if you like driving games at all, just, just go do it. Super fun. Right, I'll leave it external view on this one for you. So much pain. Let's do this. <laughs> Cars flipping everywhere. Go on, go. On. Bosh. I don't know how to look behind me, so. So I'm just driving blind backwards at the minute. Oh yeah. Driving around in reverse at the minute. See if I can. No, I haven't set a review button. They all seem to be gathering that. Look at that. What is that? Come here. Oh. <laughs> I think that needs another go. I'll just go for it. Let's have another go then. Last go. Shit. That wasn't good, can I? Yeah. Oh, it's something. <laughs> like it's in the Java.
<laughs> Sorry, I'm totally forgetting I should be talking right now. This is just... I can't believe this madness. My car has definitely seen better days. Balls. Well, there we have it, guys. Next car game from Bugbear Entertainment. Um, yeah, that's awesome, and expect to see much, much more of this once it gets full release, because I will be making many, many videos. So, for now, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, see you in the next one. Cheers.